What up Terrapins? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is E, this is Turtle Wandering, and I'm in Arkansas, y'all. I'm here for the Gun Graveling Festival. So a couple wonderful days of riding gravel, learning about gravel, getting better at things, all with a bunch of other amazing women, and I cannot wait. The festival doesn't actually start until tomorrow night, but I flew in today a day early just because with the way flights have been and everything else I like to give myself a little bit of cushion because I've known way too many people that have had flights delayed flights canceled and it's really kind of gummed up the work so my thought was I'd rather be in town a day early and then kind of check things out than be scrambling and then rushed at the end if anybody's wondering yes my bike is here with me it, it flew along with me and let me show you so here's my bike um, what I did was I borrowed a box from the bike shop, then I disassembled it, added a bunch of padding the other day, and um, just kind of packed it as my checked luggage. Thankfully, most airlines have stopped charging an arm and a leg for bicycles, although I did pay a little bit extra for this because, unfortunately, bikes do sometimes come in as overweight. But um, it was a lot cheaper than shipping it because that was an option as well, but that was going to be about double the cost. So kind of made out and this way I also don't have to rent a bike because then I get to ride my bike the way it's set up. And that just seemed like the best deal for me. So I flew into Tulsa, Oklahoma because that was actually the cheapest flight I could get compared to actually flying into Fayetteville, which is the town next to Bentonville. And on the way found this really cool local coffee shop so stopped in grabbed myself a little something and now I'm gonna make the rest of my way out to Bentonville the opening party for the event is tonight so I've got a bunch of time to kill so I'm gonna go explore Bentonville and kind of see what's up Bentonville's a cute place. Um, definitely that small town feeling, but then with that whole outdoor vibe, which is kind of a nice one. You know, here in the middle of Northwest Arkansas, which is pretty rad. One of the things I've really enjoyed seeing is the amount of street art that's going on. Things like murals and sculptures. Clearly, the town, as part of the infrastructure, wanted to make sure that they have a variety of uh, different things for people to experience, and that's awesome. Well, the sun finally came out, which was nice, and uh, temperature is good and I can honestly say Bentonville is a cute little town they've certainly focused on their industry of cycling with everything I mean so much stuff is bike themed whether it's the bars the restaurants the coffee shops you you name it so I mean they definitely know their their market and they're definitely working towards it so smart good day overall bopping around town and now to meet some amazing humans in 2018, I really hit a wall with myself mentally. All right, our next question. How are you creating space to empower folks? And so I don't see a lot of women, and I can continue to say I don't see a lot of women, or I can try to do something about it. And um, one of the things that um, my daughter taught me, we were riding on a trail, and um, she saw some guy, and she's like, I mean, she'll say like 10 feet away, I'm your left! I'm so like, no, we gotta be like within their bounds to say I'm your left. She doesn't care, none of that applies. And um, she said hi to this guy on your left, and he's like, oh, you're like way back there, cool. And she passes, well, on the way back, um, I'm so glad that he was still on the trail because she was ahead of me and she fell. And had it not been for her helmet, her skull probably would have got cracked. And said guy was still on the trail, and he ran up to her and he helped her. And she goes, "Are you helping me?" Because I said hi. And he said, "No, I'm helping because you're hurt." And she said, "Is it okay if he helps me?" And I said, "Yeah, totally." And so I've made a deliberate effort since then to whether the person is black, white, or whatnot, to say hello and trying to make sure that people see me and I see them and. You're gonna acknowledge me whether you want to or not. But in, in not being passive aggressive, um, 
I uh, decided to put my money where my mouth is. And I said, I'm a single mom with two kids, like one parent for real, but how can I or what can I do to help someone? So I created a scholarship for women of color. And if you want to do a gravity event, um, let me know. Uh, the group that brought me back into cycling that day, that was where it initially started. And the intent was to fund one woman of color to try a gravity event in the area. And once there were three events that were available, pick one, pick the date, and I'll pay for it with my credit card and whatnot. And someone here, I won't say who, and someone on the West Coast reached out to me and said, we want to make this sustainable and for more women. So here is the donation. And so four women were funded. And at this point, um, at least one woman was doing it. At this point, at least one woman every month can be funded for the remainder of the year. And that's conservatively So I feel like that helped a lot, but right now, and I've told a lot of people in this room, and I mean it, I feel like I'm doing the most important work of my life because I'm helping women stay on the starting lines. And, yes, and creating space for women, you know, who before might have gone into the shadows because they didn't know what the fuck was happening to them. And now, you know, like, like we're talking about this stuff and we're, do we're doing things and we're saying like, this is still like such, there's so many good years ahead of us. You know, and we just have to share our stories and share our power and step into that power. And that's what I'm all about right now. TD is ready to go. Morning everybody. Day two is upon us. Uh, the start of the actual festival. So in the morning is going to be a bunch of skills clinics and some really rad talks. And then in the afternoon is a ride. So this should be a lot of fun. All right, the important spot. <laughs> Coffee. <Okay. laughs> Especially like when you're climbing, make sure not to lean, put too much weight on your front wheel and keep some weight on the back wheel so that you have some traction and you're not like spinning out. If you've ever been on an uphill and felt like your rear wheel was spinning out, that's why. Removing your wheel is typically this, this piece here. Um, I use a stick, some people use a... All right, so the festival is actually based out of this really cool mountain bike area. So as you can see, there's a paved area, but then you've got all these really cool mountain bike trails that are like rollers and bumps and, and things of that nature and some probably some obstacles further in. But this is an absolutely like beautiful space. And it's been just absolutely so rad, the number of women and the enthusiasm and the you know kind of collective consciousness that's going on it's it's really powerful and it, it's hard to describe and it shows though how much representation does matter because you know oftentimes you end up riding with folks that aren't like you so in this case a lot of times with guys and don't get me wrong guys are great but they come at sports a little bit differently sometimes than we do especially if you were somebody who was newer to the sport and there's a lot of new women who came out this weekend and that's the amazing thing is that they're getting the skills that they need and being able to ask questions in a way that feels that it's safe and they're not worried about maybe getting 
mocked or looked at or getting a condescending answer and you just can't replace the, the power of being able to, to do that in an environment where it's like you know that you're gonna get what you need and then feel good about it and then take it out the next time you ride and it's gonna be like yeah I can do that now so when you're having things on your body that feel uncomfortable um, think about think about adjusting things on your bike Like yeah. if I ride with my husband and a dog comes at us, like that dog stops, yeah. like midway. Somebody else who has a different lived experience, whether that's a fatter person or um, you know a person of color, because I honestly have a lot of privilege in this space. Um, and while I might not have like a kit that fits me perfectly, um, I have a lot of other really cool things. Good ride. Some killer hills though for sure, but about halfway front, halfway done. So keep it moving. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Red color. Great ride. <laughs> Just that, that hill at the end was rude. Yeah. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> okay, but then like the hill too much. So I was like, okay, this is cool. Worked out. Day one complete. Um, great day. Met a lot of really rad human beings. Um, the ride was a lot of fun. Um, definitely some climbs, so it kind of reminded me of home, but, but different all at the same time. And now I think I'm just going to go back, grab some food, and just kind of shower and chill the rest of the night. So uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Morning, everyone. It is day two, which is ride day, so no clinics today. I just ride. The first one's going off in about an hour, and that'll be about 60 miles. Then there's a 40 miler, a 30 miler, possibly even a 20 miler. So I'm definitely going to pick one of the shorter of the, the two, but uh, it should be a fun day. So uh, let's go check things out. Party at the back. Definitely got some chunky stuff here on the trail.
How was it? How does one even begin to describe how amazing and outstanding this weekend was? Everything about it. The rides were challenging and dirty and oh so beautiful. And the people, oh the people that I met. They were just such incredible humans. The discussions that we had about cycling, about diversity, about inclusion, about everything. It just fueled my spirit and it's definitely going to elevate my practice. This weekend overall was just fun. After two years of limited travel and honestly limited bike riding, this was exactly what I needed and it was a great way to get back out there. To the amazing people at Feisty Media who hosted and put this whole thing together, all I can say is thank you. It was great, and I hope you all enjoy watching me on this journey. If you're into it, drop a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Waiter Terrapins.